Welcome back everyone. Today we have another uh, video for White Beard, but this time we're playing the boat uh, version, the Moby Dick. And the reason why is because this exact list just got second at the uh, regional on Peronia. I think that's how you say it. But, um, and I wanted to try it out because there are cards here that I definitely ag agree with. And they make a lot of sense. And there are other ones that I don't really like, but uh, I'm gonna still try them just to to see if he uh, really had the, the right uh, list for this. The only change that I made for the gameplay here is that I definitely do not like this car. I definitely just cut it for uh, two more aces, as I think this car is way more powerful than that car. Uh, I do see why he's probably playing that one because he can uh, do like that guy plus a jet pistol to KO a nine drop. Um, I think it's really niche to do that play if you're only playing two jet pistol or two of that guy. Like having the combo in hand is kind of sucky at that point. So that's all right. Uh, another card that I um, I'm kind of on the fence of is the jet pistol. Um, I, I mean, it's worked fine, but I don't think this card is like really it. I'd rather have more sequakes as the uh, like decks like Law. Are more difficult and Seaquake is much more uh, efficient at dealing with the, the, the deck as you're able to KO the blockers and just go uh, be able to attack which is the most annoying part about this uh, like the law deck and probably why he lost because uh, the Seaquake is the card that you actually need. Seaquake and Vista are the most important cards in that matchup but the a hidden MVP of the deck is definitely the blocker as I hadn't considered before but this card is very important for this it's, type of deck because it basically just sits there and it makes the opponent not able to just attack for big numbers and then they have to start attacking you for just base numbers meaning 6k and when they attack you for 6k all these cards are able you're able to combo all these cards for uh for for 1k right and that's very good uh because you don't have much counter power outside like the 1k's and that's another thing that I don't like. That's why I don't like the Sea Quake and the Jet Pistols also. Because you don't have much counter power. Like the 2Ks, you only have these two 2Ks. And the 1Ks are like, you don't have many of those. So you really rely on cards like the Blocker to be able to defend and transform all the opponent's attack into 5Ks that you're able you are able to easily out combo with these cards. Um, but it did get second place and it was working fine. So uh, I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not going to, uh, say that his uh, ratios or anything like that were incorrect. Um, the only thing that I do really want to change is the the ace because I just do think that if you're gonna play this version of the deck, the ace is just much better in this version. Uh, that's just personal. If you want to play like how he was playing it, it's also completely fine. It's also understandable. Um, that's this is just how we play the list. Um, I would also cut probably the jet pistol, but that's uh, up to preference really. But let's see some games. Okay, and we're gonna play the mirror now. Uh, this matchup should be this hand is kind of expensive. Um, so I think I'm going to defend. Uh, usually I'll just take the life. Um, but since I'm going first and I'm gonna be taking uh, my own life first, uh, I think I'm gonna have to defend a little bit. Uh, just so I am able to deploy all my uh, m like my curve as uh, he like I'm gonna be tapping off for most of my curve so I do have to defend when I can yeah as he's gonna be playing uh, the Luffy uh, this turn and I have to find the time to just play all these cards and it's just not gonna be that easy here I'll definitely just play the um, the King do and the nice thing here is if, if he plays something, if he attacks with this Luffy, I'm going to be able to kill the next turn. And that's going to be really important here. I, I think uh, some of these matchups do get decided by whoever gets to um, uh, to land the, um, the ace, control the board, and be able to just uh, come back in that game. I'm going to take this one. And he has a Luffy now, so yeah, I have to out combo to that one too. Because uh, I'm going to be tapping out for the uh, Ace. And that's that's the reason I, I had to combo out a little bit here. Because I don't want to just tap out and just 
uh, take all the damage. Here, I'm able to control the board. If he, if he wants to defend, he has to basically just give me his whole hand to try to defend this. And um, I'm okay with that at that point. And I don't think he's going to go for game, even though I have actually only 5k as, as combo power. Um, I don't think he would just go for game next turn. That would be kind of crazy, but I mean, here I'll take the uh, kill both cards. Uh, he did think a, a little bit about it because I mean, it was a, a it is a crucial decision here, and I am expecting the same in return, like him playing the um, the ace. Uh, at least he's not gonna go into his white beard turn right now. But next turn, I'm gonna be able to play the uh, uh, the boat, the Moby Dick, and. I'm gonna be able to pressure a lot if he doesn't get rid of my cars here. So let's see what he wants to do. Like, I imagine he's gonna try to uh, KO one of my cards. He's playing the Luffy. The Luffy is really slow. And I don't think it's good enough here. However, attacking for eight, it is good enough, sadly for me. So he does get to KO my um my ace and i have to be careful with this ace because i don't wanna i don't wanna uh just uh tap out uh because we're getting into i'm going to zero life so i have to be careful with him uh here i want to uh just take cards out of uh out of his hand that takes two cards out of his hand uh, i'm a bit scared of if of him playing the nine drop here uh, but I do have to just try to develop these two blockers and, um, and defend this turn. I know the, ra the Radical Beams are going to be uh, good next turn. And again, he's not going to go for game when I have two blockers. Attacking for six, however, is very bad for me here. Because if I don't block, I guess I could block with Marco. But then if he has removal for Marco, then he might just go for game. So then, I mean, for the uh, blocker. So then I have to be careful, like, if he has, he needs to have a special kind of removal uh, for the uh, the Marco. And it's the same here, like, if he if he plays the, uh, the uh, like, an ace, I could have just uh, died there. And I have to be careful of that being, like, that is a problem. Uh, here, I'm going to minus the Luffy. And I'm, I'm going to attack it, because uh, I don't want to have to combo a 5k here, there. Or if he decides to like invest a little bit more, I'd rather just KO it here. And I'm gonna attack for nines, uh, just taking a, a couple of two Ks out of my opponent's hand, because uh, I do have to keep up my three radical beams uh, to be able to survive this white beer. Now if I do have two good like I can just block with Marco. And like my, my thinking here, if, if he attacks with the white beer, I'll block with Marco. And if he wants to go all in with the um, with the leader, I do have three radical beams and that just saves me from any uh, problem here. Uh, but if he, if he attacks the um, the ace, then it's much easier for me here. And I'm going to be able to um, to use um, defend with the radical beam. Here, however, I will use my Marco because uh, these cards are free to use in my hand. Like, they're just, like, no combable, so I have to just use my cards uh, efficiently. I do have enough to survive another turn. So, my thinking, instead of trying to go for game here, which could be, like, he, he could have a Radical Beam and then, like, fool my plans there. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him out combo out of this one. I'm gonna attack for 13. And I'm going to let him out combo out of this one with a Radical Beam. And then I should have attacked with the leader at his leader first. Uh, so he has one less 2k here so he can defend the, uh, the White Bear with. Uh, but if he does defend the White Bear here, I attack for 8 at the leader. And then maybe I can just go for game with the Marco. So he has to be careful of uh, him like doing that. Okay, so he only had a 1k, so the, the, the last two cards that he has in hand, they're not combables. So he still has to get through my Marco and uh, go for game, which is not easy. Here, I will block with the Marco for sure. 
because I can I can stop an all in from uh, like those three attacks uh, like with the radical beams and the uh, the cars that I have, and I will get the Marco back because it's free with my Moby Dick. And he does have another nine drop, but the nine drop is easier to. Now this one is much easier to go for a game with, because now he doesn't have as many cars in hand. So I can just do uh, some basic math here, so I can just go for a game. Uh, I will attack for uh, twelve here. Now that's a radical beam and the extra car. And if he does come out of that one, then it's just attacking with the leader and then attacking with the rest with the other one. So he does have to um, take this one. And then this one, uh, he will have to have a radical beam and two two case in hand. He doesn't. He has a radical beam in uh, in life, so I can expect a radical beam and a two K. A radical beam and two K on a nine would be a thirteen, a fifteen, and I think I get to attack for sixteen here. Uh, it's nine. Yeah, it's enough. So I, I will just attack with everything and just take the game. And that's the reason the boat is so good against the white beer leader. Like in the mirror, is so advantaged uh, because you do get to just do this for uh, for free. You get to uh, attack for big numbers on the on the crucial turns, and that's what you get to do. All right, and we're gonna play against Kim on here. Uh, my hand is pretty good. I'm going second. I was able to choose, and I'm I'm, I'm playing the boat into Atmos into uh, uh, maybe a jet pistol here now that I have it. Um, I could do Jet Pistol here, uh, but it's fine if he wants to develop his whole turn trying to kill my Atmost. I am okay with that. Like, he would need a, um, a Yamato into something else. Yeah, I'm okay with taking this damage and uh, protecting the Atmost. It's easy for me to defend it here. Uh, I'll draw for turn. And here I would just attack the uh, Okiku. He lets it die, so then I have to uh, decide what I'm going to play. I think right now I mean, I'm going to play my uh, blocker. Uh, so I'm going to 2 live, and I want to have some... Because next turn is going to be back-to-back -back, uh, um, aces. So I have to have some defense for uh, the following turns for sure. Uh, here, the worst card that he can play would be the uh, Odin, for sure. Uh, but I have to uh, play the... The only problem here would be if he has... Um, uh, the, um, Pong Gibson out of life. So, here... Um, my, my field spell is not even active right now. So, he should have combo out of some of these attacks. Like going to zero is not like a great idea here. But maybe he was trying to get a Pong Gibson out of life so he can tap on my Marco. Uh, something like that. It's the only thing that I can think of. Here I will block. Because if he wants to untap the uh, that one. So he can uh, bring it back. I'm fine with that. Uh, here five. I will combo out of that one. Or just bring it back. It doesn't matter. And then um, I'm expecting him to use the the, uh, the untap ability. Uh, but I'm trying to just limit the amount of defense that he's going to have for next turn. As he's at zero life and I'm going to try to go for game next turn for sure. So he should have really outcome out of some of these attacks. Because uh, now he just doesn't have the luxury. To, he has to outcombo everything. And that's not even that, e that easy. And I will defend my board because I'm, I'm going for game next turn. And I'm going to keep my Vista and my... Um, yeah, Vista for that, for the blockers. And uh, the Jet Pistol. So it's, it's perfect here. I get to do everything. I get to KO the Vista. With the Vista, I get to KO that one. And with the uh, Jet Pistol, I get to KO that one. And I'm going to attack for 9 on everything. And there is no way, even with... Uh, like, only if all the cards in his hand are, are, like, 2Ks, will he, like, really be able to stop this. But really not. Not really possible. So I'm going to be able to attack for 9, 9, another 9. And then uh, finally with 8. So he just, yeah, he had to have a, like a bunch of 2Ks to be able to uh, combo here. And they like all of them had to be comboable, which is not always uh, the case when you're playing Kimon. Oh, okay, and we're going to play against Wipeer. We're going second. Um, there's a lot of mirrors today. 
and well, yeah, we're gonna have uh, mirrors matchups, which is good if we if you're trying to be competitive. Uh, you wanna see some games uh, that are actually competitive. Though I do have the advantage because I do have the field spell now, so I do I do uh, I'm a little bit advantage here. Now I don't have a turn four play, and I'm hesitant to play the Marco here because he does have a Nico Robin, and with any kind of minusing effects. He does get to um, just KO it, uh, but I think I have to be proactive and just play my cards because uh, it's the like if he, even if he has removal, he better have it because I mean I don't have any other way. But he attacked with the um, with the leader first, so now my my Marco is safe from removal, which is really nice. Now he plays the Luffy, and because I'm going second, I'm able to play my threats and also keep up an energy. And uh, that's very important for the future. And he should probably out combo out of this one. Even if he doesn't play the nine drop, he, he just should always like try to keep up with uh, the cards that I have. Uh, now my Marco, if he destroys it, I get to uh, pitch the other um, Moby Dick in my hand. So it's a free uh, 1k. At least I get to transform that into in my board. Uh, I go to zero because I mean I'm not I'm gonna go to zero either way. And if he uh, spends his energy trying to attack with this white beer, uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, he can attack with this one, attack for eight. Uh, but I'm okay with just using one of my infinite radical beams or uh, those type of effects that I have in my hand. Um, I still have the blocker. He didn't attack with the uh, leader because I have the Marco. And he, maybe he didn't want to transform cards in my hand. Uh, but that's... I mean, I think that's incorrect either way. Uh, but it didn't matter. Like, if he didn't make me pitch the car, or if if, if I did pitch the car, it doesn't really matter. Um, now I get to KO his board. And again, that's... that's this card is too important in the mirror. The, the uh, Ace is what actually brings you some games. And with Moby Dick, this card is just really absurd. So that's why I decided to change the um, the Ace to four. I just think it's more much more important in the, in this mirror match and in in all the matchups. Like Ace is just way too important. Uh, like if you're not playing the nine drop, you have to play a bomb that is hard to remove, and it has haste. It just has all the uh, the, the right keywords here. And I get to use my um, my Marco as I was saying before. Uh, but I'm really ahead right now. And I just want to try to deal some damage here. But I also want to... Like, I could play the... The, um, the Ace. It would not be terrible. But I did want to deal the last point of damage here. And since I have the Marco already... I just want to get rid of cards on my opponent's hand. I'm sure he has enough to all combo this. Um, but the idea is that I can, I have the... Oh, okay. Well, my opponent didn't have enough. But the idea here is that I have enough defense to where if he destroys my Marco, maybe he has, I don't know, Otama into attacking with the White Beer. I'm going to be able to all combo that attack and the opponent's attack. And next turn, I'm going to go for a game. So my idea is I don't need to develop my board anymore because my board is very powerful. I just need to get cards out of my opponent's hand so I can just win the game. And that's what I do here. Okay, and we're going to play against uh, Don Flamingo. Um, this matchup... Uh, I mean, I don't know what happened here, but my opponent missed his first... After stacking the, de 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 the deck... <laughs> That was kind of impressive, but okay, I'll take the first damage, and I mean, I'll take it. Uh, but definitely uh, a misplay that is, is probably going to cost in the game, because, like, yeah, he literally did nothing with that Perona. That was kind of really bad from, from him. But let's see if he can maybe make it back, although my curve right now is actually pretty good. So I have no complaints about what I have in my hand. He plays uh, the Teach, uh, bounces back the blocker to my hand. I'm fine with that. Uh, I, I'm just going to keep developing my board. 
attack with the uh, utmost, trying to get cards out of his hand. And then I'm gonna play to um, the blocker and the um, this guy, because this guy in this matchup is gonna be very good. It's gonna push damage, and I'm gonna be able to defend it this this game. So it's not gonna be that bad because I have the blocker, and they don't they don't really have that much removal, besides from the uh, teach. But a lot of people cut down the teach to two or one, so I'm not even that scared. And unless he has the uh, uh, the fight drop, the uh, the uh, the jinbe. But even even if he does have the jinbe, I'm not even that scared about it. Uh, he could he just kept one energy up for like a um. The uh, 2k1, the uh, Espada. Uh, but I'm gonna play around that because I'm already at one life, so like all my attacks are for eight. So if he wants to use Espada, it's gonna cost him a little bit. And here I just wanna keep developing my board. And now I'm gonna definitely gonna play my uh, Marco. Uh, so I wanna be able to just block the uh, the Mihawk for free. And I'm expecting the Mihawk in this turn. Uh, Mihawk will be really good as he will be able to bottom deck my Marco, I think is the biggest threat for him. As he's able to transform all a lot of cards in my hand into just 5Ks. Uh, like his attacks, they just transform it. Um, and I'm gonna attack, I'm gonna block with the Marco, I think. This card is annoying enough. Uh, because he's AK, so he does get to do good pressure with that one. But I do have a blocker. I could pitch the blocker. And I have a lot of 1k counters here, so... Uh, like, I'm confident in this game right now. I don't think... Unless he has actual removal, I feel that I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna just react to what my opponent is doing. And he's going to attack for 8 into this one. And I think I'm just going to let it die because, I mean, it already did enough. It took a damage and is now blocking. And that card is just really difficult to defend. So I'd rather he just did what he did and didn't need to do anything else. And here instead, I'm able to just um, attack with the Atmos into this uh, guy for 8. And that's the power of the Moby Dick, right? I get to attack for big numbers for zero investment. And he has to use the Love Love Beam, but he has to use it with zero value. And I just get to KO it anyway. And then I'm attacking the leader for eight. And he just hasn't been able to develop anything. Like this leader has done nothing. And my hand is looking very stacked. And if he wants to out combo to this one, yeah, he needs to combo a bunch of cards. It's just not even that good. And I think he over attacked with the Flamingo. Uh, he should have developed a Gecko Moria or something else. But I guess he didn't want me to uh, untap with it. But I had two blockers. So if I if I really wanted to untap with the uh, with the three drop, I could have. Uh, but I just don't see the reason why. And I just want to play more blockers against this leader. As the only way that he's able to deal damage is by battle. Of course, like everything else, but like his removal is not that efficient. It's like the only good efficient removal that he has is the teach. And he already played one. And as I said before, it's just like they usually don't have more than that. He attacks for eight. I just is like comboing a 5k into an 8k attack. I'm pretty okay with that. Uh, I want to conserve my... Um, my other cards for next turn and I had the jet pistol just in case he had a boa or something like that so this is where they are uh, the car is actually very good uh, and here is just attacking for nines uh, I don't think he can outcome he doesn't have any blockers so it's gonna be really tough for him to out like survive this turn and since I have two blockers, then I don't even have to worry about anything else. I'm going to attack for nines, because uh, nine is going to deplete his hand a, lo a lot. And I'm going to keep attacking for nines, because that's a really hard number to uh, combo. Oh, he comboed two, but uh, yeah, he didn't have enough. 
So now I get to attack with the Marco for 9 or for 12 if I want to, but I'm just going to do 9 because 9 he cannot out combo. And then if I wanted to, I this the, the blockers, now they're 5Ks. And I can just attack for 7 and for 7. So I had a bunch of attack for 7, for 9. So he was definitely not surviving this turn, um, no matter what he did. So yeah, it is what it is. All right, and to finish up, let's do another white beard mirror. Um, I don't have anything good on that one, and this is a very terrible hand. So let's see if we can get out of this one. Uh, blocker is okay. It's not like the biggest card in this matchup because uh, you do have if he's playing the mirror mirror, then they do have uh, Sea Quake and Vista. If no, it's still like kind of a like the lead the white beard nine drop is still like able to remove it so it's not the most amazing car uh but it's decent enough to where it works early on it's definitely a play that i want to do early okay uh king do is the perfect draw here uh here i'm gonna be able to attack for seven and start whittling down at the two case in the opponent's hand uh which is what happens and i'm gonna play the um the blocker Mm, Titan for six, it's fine. My hand needs something else, so I'm gonna. I'm trying to dig for other cards, so I can actually play them. So I have to take uh, some uh, life here. Uh, but I have two King Do's, and that probably is good enough to just uh, be able to close the game. Uh, I'm just missing the uh, the Moby Dick here. That's the only card that I'm missing. Uh, to just win the game Marco is actually very good uh, As I'm gonna be able to uh, defend the nine drop if he uh, if it comes to that But let's see if I get the uh, the movie deck here I'm gonna just take the two life because again. I'm still have the um, The blocker So it's not gonna be that big of a problem. I would like to draw an ace would be good too but yeah i'll take this one it's fine if he wants to do this yeah it's fine i was gonna go to zero in either way i didn't get the movie dick so let's see i got the movie dick but i didn't realize that i actually did um i'm gonna do a, a misplay here but i'm gonna attack for eight uh, but it comes it comes up to that I it actually kind of benefit benefited me because he wasn't expecting another AK attack with the uh, um, with the leader, and then now he had he have committed like two cards to save this Luffy, so he has to keep committing cards to try to save it. Um, it was just fine. Um, I would have killed it for sure if I would have uh, have like played the movie Dick before. And I should have absolutely done it before, uh, but it's fine. This at this point, I can just play the um, the three drop. I still have a blocker, it's, so it's not that easy to get through. And I have enough counter power to survive this turn for sure. I just have to make it um, out of this turn, like uh, looking uh, decent, like, at least not like completely uh, destroy, and I should be fine. The blocker should help a lot, a lot with that. However. And my opponent has discarded a lot of cards. So now even playing a 9-drop is not even that, that big of a deal. If he does it. But like he cannot play this turn of course. I, I was the one going first. And um, I haven't even gotten to 9 energy. Uh, my opponent could destroy my blocker here. Um, and I should be using it soon. But let's see what he wants to do. It really depends on what he wants to do here. I offer the blocker for him, but if he wants to destroy my blocker, he has to commit at least two energy to the Nico Robin, so it does at least some damage. And then it doesn't really do anything else. So yeah, I'm perfectly fine with this development. Uh, I she should have attacked my leader. Uh, my cars are too easy to defend. Like if my car is bigger than the car that you're, it's just completely incorrect to attack the. Uh, the king do here 
and I'm gonna uh, combo with actual cards and not with my uh, uh, guard point because uh, next turn I'm gonna be able to keep up the energy, and it's gonna be better to just keep up these uh, like these cards instead of uh, comboing with uh, like one here. Although it could could have been more efficient if I do that, but it's fine. Uh, here I will have to I'll combo that one too. Uh, and I think I need to combo the Vista probably uh, because I do want to have some answers for the um, the White Bear, the Nine Drop. Uh, but this turn is going to be very nice for me. And I'm thinking here, okay, if he next turn, if he plays the Nine Drop, then I am okay with that. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I could play the, the Marco here and that wouldn't be that really that good for me because if i play the marco then i don't have a good attacker into a nine drop play next turn so i definitely want to play my um my king do instead and i have enough counter power and that's the reason i wanted to keep the three radical beams uh so i could defend my like an all-in attack into the leader uh so i can develop another big body that is going to be able to push through the um the the nine drop and that's the the main reason i do this play uh he does save the luffy and i think that comes to be a mistake for him uh if he wants to save it again then he has to give me another two cards and that's really bad for him right now and he does it he just gives me a radical beam and i am okay with that like i can just Again, as I was saying, I could just play the uh, Marco, but like that's not a, really a good like. If he wants to attack with everything, he doesn't develop the nine drop and he dies in the crab back, and I get to just out combo it out. So I can always play the Marco next turn uh, and have the King do this turn, so it's gonna be much better for me. And that's what I do. And I have enough counter here to where I'm I'm sitting pretty. And I should be fine whatever develop him, development he does. I would consider just going for game here. Uh, like I have to have three, but I, I did keep up three energy. And if he's uh, like all three radical beams, he just loses. So it's kind of tough. Uh, but only three cards really cannot like, you cannot really do too much with three cards. Uh, if not, the bare minimum is to destroy the uh, the three drop, as that one just gets a lot of value for free. If you're not thinking of closing the game this turn, uh, you do have to do that. Yeah, attacking the leader is for six. I mean, unless you're trying to go for like all in, it's not uh, like correct. Uh, six. I I guess I'll combo an Otama. Uh, I'm thinking that he has an, an an ace. Yeah, okay. And then he wants to attack my leader. Okay, no, yeah, that's that's that was not gonna work. I mean, he he really just that was a bad play though. Like he he has spent seven energy to get two more K counter instead of attacking with fifteen into the leader. Like if he wanted to do this play. He should have definitely just go all in into the leader. It wasn't gonna work, but it, it was better than what he did. Like that, that play just didn't make any sense. And here, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, win because he goes to one life, and my cards are hitting for like a billion. Alright, and for our final thoughts on the deck, um, the deck was really good. This card was as good as I thought it was going to be. The blocker really gives gives this deck another dimension. It's like having another Marco, a pseudo Marco, where you just have it there, it sits there, and eventually when you want to go for game, you just can't go for game. But uh, uh, worse comes worse, it's just a blocker, an emergency blocker, that is going to be able to like defend uh, very well for uh, with your leader. So it's, it worked very well. Uh, it's sad that it doesn't have counter, but it's understandable since it just gets pumped by the Moby Dick. 
the deck is still very weak to removal. So a deck like maybe like this version of the deck, like if it plays against something like a, a Smoker, it's going to have a hard time because like they can just remove all your cards. And this version of the leader, like the Moby Dick version, without a board, is very weak. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of bringing this uh, leader. If if you if there is a lot of removal, this leader, this version of the deck is just a lot weaker. Um, but yeah, in general, the deck is it worked very well, and uh, that also that's the the reason that I want to, uh, to play like four uh, Ace because it's a much harder card to remove. Uh, because it's a, a seven drop and it's seven K, so it, it's just a, a, a beast in this deck, and it becomes a nine K with the with the Moby Dick. So that's why I would keep this change for sure. Uh, I would take the Jet Pistol. It just doesn't feel like the card for this deck. Um, like hitting it out of life, it feels super sucky because uh, you're taking your own life, so it doesn't trigger. And the Sea Quake, I do agree with. Uh, I think two is the right number. Uh, the only card that I would change would be the Jet Pistol. Um, it's just preference, um, but you can you can play however you like to play it. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a good day.